Hello and welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name is V and you're watching Crafting with V. And um, I just wanted to show you a couple of diamond paintings. If you, but first, if you're new here, I hope you stick around. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. And I hope if you're not subscribed that you will hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and ring the bell so you know anytime I put up a video. And I'm sorry about the train in the background. Right now I am camping. And there's a train track that runs right by where I'm at. Let me pause this for a second. Okay, sorry about that. The train just passed by. So I have a couple of canvases here that I ordered off of Amazon and I thought they were really cute. These ones, this first one that I'm going to show you, I got this one because I was planning on taking this one down to the nursing home. I thought it would be individual packs of diamonds for each of these, but it wasn't. So I'm going to have to try to get some more to take down there that do have their own individual packs of drills. Hopefully I can find a pack like that that doesn't come with all of them together. But anyway. So this one I may just go ahead and keep and then I will get another one for that reason. This one I paid... Where's it at? Did I not write this one down? Hold on just a second. Let me go back because I know it's on one of these. I think it's on this one. No, not on that one. This one. Okay, let's see. View order details. Okay, on this one, I paid $4.99 for it. I believe on the website right now, it is $5.99, but it has a 20% off coupon. So these prices do change with these. Um, anyway, it comes with a typical toolkit. You have the green boat, baggies, a pink pen, and wax, and a green tray. And then, of course, you've got all your drills, and it does, it does have the canvas code on the drills. But anyway, this is actually six different paintings, and once you're finished with them, you can cut it, you can cut them apart and try to and go and do whatever you want to them. If you want to frame them, just put them up, send, make a card out of them, whatever you want to do. Oh, that's not good. That plastic tore right there. I am just not having luck with stuff like this today. One of the other unboxings that I did, the plastic wasn't completely down over the bottom row of the painting there let's try to do that and i'll have to remember to do the panda one first so i can get the plastic fixed on it or not fixed but taken care of on it it's kind of hard to straighten it out whenever the plastic's not cooperating with you because it tore. See, it's just completely tearing even more, so I'm not going to do much more with that. I'm afraid that I'll mess it up even more. But anyway, here's the painting. It's got the six little different ones. I think they are just so cute. It's got a toucan. It's got a panda bear, a fox, a unicorn, a seahorse, and my favorite one is the owl. You would think my favorite one would be the unicorn because I love pink so much, but I really like this owl for some reason. 
anyway this was really cute and for this would be perfect for just some a small project for little kids to do you can give them one of these and make sure you save all your all of your um, beads or diamonds and hold on a second i'm going to go and turn off the ac for just a second So I turned that off in this camper the AC kind of really really echoes in here so anyway let's look at these colors in this this is not a special shape paintings I know you see a lot of them that do have this special shape and I will get some of those because I I just like those. I want to get some and try them out. I haven't done a whole lot of special shapes, but I do want to try them out. Okay, this is all one long boat of colors, and it has 20 colors in it. So let's just quickly go through these to show them to you. So they're, it's got some really pretty pinks and greens and reds and yellows. I think I'm really going to like doing this, even though it looks like it's more for a little kid. But I think this will be a quick, easy little project to do in between some of my other ones. Even, And I will try to get another pack of these to go to the nursing home. By the time I finish these, I will probably take them down there anyway for them to hand out to the residents once they're done. So, okay, let's go on to the next one. This one, I just could not pass it up. It was so cute. I really liked it. And... I haven't looked at it yet. I need to put this down there with those so I don't lose them. Okay, whenever I ordered this, I thought it was a 30 by 30. But it's actually a 40 by 40. Let me roll it backwards. You roll it backwards and get this taken care of. Hold on, my husband just texted. Okay, so we are going to roll this backwards so it'll flatten out a little bit more, make it easier to see. And this one comes with a little bit different of a toolkit. It's got a different type of green boat with it. It has the baggies and it's got a little straightener in there. It has a pin with a single placer on it and then it's got these little... Here, I'll take these out and show them to you real quick. Since this isn't a... It is a typical tool kit but not quite the same. Okay. You have your baggies, the green boat that's just a little bit different, pink pen, has a set of these silver tweezers with the, bit, the bent end on it, and then it comes with a straightener and a squishy. So that is what is in that toolkit. I'm just going to set this over to the side with my other toolkits. Let's try to straighten this out so it doesn't quite have so much glare on it. See if maybe it might straighten out just a little bit. Oops, that's not good. See, I am having a terrible issue with the... With my paintings today, I can't seem to make them work the way that I need them to. 
don't do that because sometimes it makes it really hard to get those off of it. Okay, let's try this again. See if maybe I can get it to fit on there the right way. And I took it and did it get in on that top corner. But I will be laying these out flat, so anything that I don't get right here will eventually come out straight. This over the other way. Okay. So, anyway, this one right here, it looks like Mickey and Minnie. And somebody has their hand up holding them. It's just like a shadow. And then it's got the blue background on it. I really think that this is going to turn out really well. And, of course, you are going to have a lot of blues in your colors. Let's look at these really, really quick. But first, okay, okay, these do have the canvas coat on it. The stick is very well. Um, even though this, even though the print on this is very clear, I think with this one, I definitely will have to use a light pad on it. Because some of those letters are really, really light to where you can barely read them, especially in the other part of it. So it looks a little bit easier to read in the camera than it do does just looking at it, but I will definitely have to use my light pad on this one. Let me zoom you back out. Okay, so, um, see, I did it again. I'm just not having luck with this today. Okay, once again, I'm going to show you the, oh, and this one was $5.55 whenever I ordered it. So it's a very cute canvas. And then I'll show you the other one once again. This one I'll have to do the panda first because the plastic tore over there. Just not doing very well at all with that. And there's that one. So we will go ahead and see what we can do here. Okay. Oh, I did not show you the colors of this last canvas. What am I thinking? Okay. I am, excuse me today, I am tired. And I am just all over the place, it seems like. I tried to lay down and take a little bit of a nap, but my phone kept going off. And it was just not a good thing today. So I went ahead and got up and decided to record. Okay. So, it's all in one strip. Like I said, it's all going to be blues, different shades of blues, and black and green. Look at all those blues. There's a little bit of white in there. So, it's going to be very, very pretty. I really like it. So, if you liked this video, please go ahead and give me a comment, like, subscribe, and tell me, tell me what you'd like to see in the future on my videos. Um, I know that last week I didn't get to post any. I wish I could have, but it was a busy week for me. So, once again, I'm going to show you both of these paintings. And... I will see you next time. Bye.